Hey, Fred Ligard here, and I want to talk about uh, how to get motivated for soccer. And it really depends on how, what kind of motivation you need, you know, why you need motivation. Do you want to become a professional soccer player? Do you want to uh, have motivation to, you know, just survive practices? You know, what's the deal here? Anyway, uh, there are two ways to get motivated, and that's either from fear, uh, moving away from something you don't want, uh, and the pleasure, you know, seeking pleasure, moving towards something you do want. And uh, fear is a really strong motivator, but it might be not, you know, everlasting, which is uh, where you'll find inspiration to be. Um, so fear, um, what kind of, you got to make a list. Okay, your brain operates like this. Your brain operates uh, like in reasons, I mean, if you have reasons to do something, more reasons to do something than to back off and not do anything, you will probably do it. Uh, it's just how it works. It creates sort of a vacuum and it just happens uh, automatically and naturally. And uh, if there are more reasons to not do something than to do something, then you will back off and not do anything. So the fear weighs more than the uh, motivation really uh, to do it. The fear of uh, the rejection or fear of uh, failure, you know. So you've got to make a list, simply make a list of reasons to do it, to train, to, uh, to show up on practice, to, to work harder for, for your goals, and um, just list those reasons down that are positive, that's going to keep you focused. Uh, you, know, you know, maybe you're motivated by, uh, maybe you want to become, you know, the, the star of the school, maybe you want to get more, you know, recognition or whatever. Don't be embarrassed. I mean, you're not going to tell this to anyone. So only you know what kind of drive that motivates you to move forward in training. And uh, it, it might be maybe you're motivated by the by the crowd, like applauding. Maybe you're motivated by a pro contract. And what's that gonna? How's that gonna make you feel? So write down emotional reasons. What's gonna happen to you? What are you gonna feel if uh, you get this done? If you get the training done? if you accomplish those goals. Um, you also have to set a goal and it has to be measurable. So and the more specific it is, the more detailed, the more you're likely to accomplish it. And it has to be written down. It's really essential to write down your goals. I think it has three times more power uh, to write something down than to actually just thinking. Uh, so, so do that. Uh, and third, you have to believe that you can make it. That's probably the most motivational factor that ever is. They did a study on this back in the days, and it was uh, they took uh, a group of patients, and they had all lifestyle diseases, and they were about to die. They were getting this message from the doctors: if you don't change your lifestyle, you will die in two years. If you don't change within two years, you will die. And uh, that, that's kind of a leverage. That's like having a gun to your to your head, right? And uh, you would believe that, you know, that should be enough, shouldn't it? Um, but it didn't turn out that way. What happened was that only two out of 10 people were able to change. Two out of 10 people changed. And uh, they thought a little differently, those doctors. They thought on working on making them believe that they could do it because they sensed that that was the problem. They, they didn't believe it, they gave up. So then when they worked on the belief of those patients to uh, the belief that it was possible to change, that they could change it, that they could change, then something different happened. They went from two out of 10 people uh, changed their lifestyles uh, and uh, to seven out of 10. Um, so it, it had a massive influence, just believing. So work on believing it. And how do you do that? It's trainable, actually. So follow up. <laughs> um, you can actually train yourself to believe something. Uh, people, you know, right now I'm talking to you, I, I, I get you to believe this, uh, that, you know, that belief is a more motivating force than actual leverage, like the gun to your head. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> so there are two ways to make yourself more confident or have stronger belief to what you're doing. And that's to train more, okay, train more. I'm doing a lot of weird things with my fingers. Train more, uh, that's gonna give you more confidence because you're, you're more, it's gonna give you more confidence, first of all, which gives you more confidence and more, you, you don't feel like you're, 
you, you feel like you respect yourself more. You feel more ready, okay? And uh, second is to train in your mind, okay? I'm also gonna actually uh, share a study um, story. It was on a university somewhere, I don't know, and uh, they took basketball players. They had them visualize themselves throwing a ball, you know, into the basket perfectly each time, each time, only in their mind. They didn't touch the ball at all, didn't. And they did this for three sessions per week for, I think, six weeks. And then they took another group and they had them actually throw physically the ball into the basketball net. And um, they did that for uh, three sessions per week for six weeks. And the results were amazing. Um, I think they actually progressed equally or the mind was a little, the mind group only visualizing were a little better in progress compared to the other group or it was a little different. I mean, there are several uh, very, very, uh, variations to the story online if you, if you search for it. So I don't know what, what to believe really, but it was really close. So do both physical practice and visualization because your brain doesn't really know what's going on, whether it's reality or just uh, imagining sometimes. That's, that's why you think dreaming is real because it's so clear in your mind. So your brain actually believes it and it produces the same emotions that are in alignment with the story in your dream. I know it's getting a little you know, uh, deep here, um, but keep everything that I just said in mind. You can watch this video many times. If you like this, uh, you're gonna love, or if you, if you have some ambitions in, in soccer, towards soccer. If you want to become a professional soccer player, you want to just become better, you want to achieve your potential, maximize it, optimize it, go to footballprouniversity.com and uh, there you'll find more training like this for really ambitious soccer players for free. And uh, so there I'm gonna share a lot more. Okay, ready? Go there. Uh, thank you for watching.